Okay, guys, early morning on Kerr Lake. As you can see, the water's up. It's about 3.04. We're going to try to see if we can find some bass today. Let's go get them. Y'all jump on the boat because we're gone, guys. Look here, guys. We got a. We got. Woohoo! Jump there, big boy. We got a fun size one. Lost my worm. I had a big bites worm on there. That curt tail worm. I tell you, y'all never used them. That's a good worm. Come here. I'm gonna get a hold of him in a minute. I'm gonna have to grab him like Mason does here now. Just hug him against me. I'll squeeze him right there. He'll open his mouth. You know, it's a button, guys. Y'all never learned that. I'll show you something here. There's a button right here. When a bass will open his mouth, you squeeze him right here, so that mouth come open and you can grab him. Mason's, Mason's laughing at me. Mason's laughing at me. Sure am. <laughs> Alright guys, there's your another baby one. Another fun size. Like I said, we can't control how big they are. We catch them all. Told you, dude. He's probably the same size as the other one. Ain't he? he hit me hard, man. We're still picking up a few. It's been a tough, guys. We've probably been a... Uh, I haven't been... I, I don't even pay attention to my to a clock or a watch or my phone when I'm fishing, but we've been uh, at least an hour and a half without a bite. Um, it's that time of morning. It's probably 11 o'clock. He's hooked well, too. And, uh, you know, fatty, though. And the bite's getting hard to come by. I caught a small one, which I didn't put on film a while ago, out here on this point on a crankbait. Uh, actually, my GoPro battery was dead. <laughs> you know, that's the toughest thing about recording, guys. Sometimes when you <laughs> sometimes when you want to record something, your battery can be dead. I got it on film for him, though. Yeah, Mason said he his, his uh, GoPro was working. Mine was dead. All right, let me get this fish off. I'll get a pair of pliers to grab me. He's not hooked uh, bad. He just, I can't get the hook out of my finger. Sorry guys. Oh, be honest with you, the camera was off and I didn't know it. <laughs> I didn't know, didn't know the camera was off. I got Mason here trying to help me. We were just shooting the bull and I cut the camera off and he's talking. And this fish hit me. I turned around, my line was heading toward the boat. What do y'all think? Probably a three pounder. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water here, guys. Go. Look here, guys. Look at old Mason caught here. Hey, bring him, turn around and show him everybody mason all right, I'm real we're out on a long point there he is buddy. there you go uh -huh. easy easy got still working on teaching him guys how to grab a bass and everything he's only 12 so he's still learning still he wants learning. he wants to hold him against him and hug him right instead of grabbing him like this and holding to him he's been hooked before yeah. mason hooked him here can y'all see that somebody else hooked him there catch and release does work doesn't it got a parasite on him what that is He's a nice little bass. Let's put him back in the drink. There you go. We're right here on a long point. We're going to finish up for the day. It's noon. And we thought, well, let's catch a couple more before we go in. And then uh, I think I think Mason's got to buy lunch today. So uh, I got four fish. You got eight. So, I mean. so we've caught 12 fish this morning. That wasn't a bad, too bad of a morning. All right, guys. Let's see if it's another fish back in here. We, we've tripped over a couple fish today. Mason's back here blogging. He's a sure am. he's doing his thing. Let me see if we can find another fish. Last one came off this log right here, if y'all can see it. Look at the water levels. Can y'all see that brown line on that tree right here? I'm pointing at it. That's where the water was up last week or so. We've had uh we had nine inches of rain one week and then this week we've had five inches of rain, I think. Something like that, but They've been steadily getting rid of water. Yeah, this is one of the first days. Uh, we actually had a small shower yesterday, so I think this will be the first day in about eight days that we haven't had some type of rain. So I got a nice one. He acting like a nice one. Mm -hmm. 
I got rods everywhere. Don't I? He's he's uh he's just digging hard. He is. No, I'll just wait a minute. Hold on, buddy. All right, now I'll bring him to you. He finally gonna wear out. Thank you, sir. Woo, that's a good three. Yeah, it's a good nice fish. What y'all think of that? One? Three to four. You want the scale for him? Nah. I, I can grab the scale. That's all right. It is. He ain't a monster. He's just a nice one. That's a, that's the fun, the extra fun size, isn't it? He was uh, he was putting the hammer to us, wasn't he? I'll tell you what we're gonna do with him. You know what we're gonna do with him? We're gonna let him go over here. Dennis has got rods everywhere. All right, guys. Do y'all do that? Do you lay your rods? I've been throwing the top water there, and we're in the morning hours. We'll let him go here. All right. Got the boat in the trash back in the back. Hold on. Yep. You should have hauled at me, buddy. Watch your rods now. Watch your rod. Watch your rod. I made a mess there, didn't I? Coming out to help him. And I just lost the fish. Uh, holler at me when that boat's going out. I'm fighting the fish. I wasn't paying any attention. I went back to pitching. I got, that's why I went, you know why I went back to pitching? Because I wasn't getting any bites. That's what I was telling you earlier. Now, sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you've got to uh, figure them out. They didn't seem like they want to come up, do they? You see what he done with that top water hauler? He smacked at it. That's why I thought, uh, I need to go back to the bottom. I caught one on the bottom this morning. I need to go back to the bottom. Because they ought to be, if they could be back in here, it's going to be in this morning. Someone we'll be looking for, buddy. I think. Yes, nice fish. Need the, uh, net? We're way here on this point. We're in 12 foot of water. That's Need a decent, net? decent fish. Mason and I have been taking our time, and it's, you can see how see the bank here. We're just taking our time working at the point. A summertime fishing point. So what we're doing is taking our time. Look at that. He's been hooked before. Catch and release does work. You think he learned your lesson the first time, little fella? He's a nice fish. He's not a monster, but he's a nice one. He's about 13, 13 and a half. That makes number 10. Well, how many you got, Mason? I got five. Mason's got five. So, that's not a bad morning. It's about 12 o'clock. Hey, guys. Thanks for uh, watching today. We had a good time up here on Kerr Lake fishing when it was flooded. It's at 304, which means it's six foot above normal pool. A lot of the underbrush was in the water and we was pitching curtail worms. This is a big bite curtail seven inch worm. We also was throwing destroyers. Mason caught one on fluke this morning and we caught everything else on pitching baits. And we ended up fishing this long point this morning. We're out by probably 75, 60, 75 yards from the point in about 12 foot of water pitching Texas rig worms and we caught a few. I think we ended up with 15 bass today, which was a nice morning here on Kerr Lake. Thank y'all guys for watching. We enjoyed sharing with you. Share with us, comment below, and we'll catch you next time on Fishing Lake Country.